and welcome to the uh, second video on fractions. Uh, so last time we introduced the idea of a fraction and I thought what I would do is first review a couple of basic things here. So let's talk about this first problem. I've actually laid out a problem for you to, to think about. I've drawn four pictures here. I have a picture of a circle, a picture of a triangle, a picture of a rectangle, and, and another picture of a rectangle. Uh, in each case I've divided the rectangle up, or, or the shape up rather, into four pieces and shaded one of those pieces in. And now the question for you is, which of these pictures show one fourth? Let's think about that for a second. I've got four pictures. Now first let's look at this circle. This circle, I've, appear, I've kind of drawn two lines that divide the circle in half and then in half again. So I've got four pieces. Uh, these four pieces are approximately equal to each other in size. And so this picture, this first picture of the circle, does indeed uh, represent a picture of one fourth. So if you if you thought this picture represented one fourth, you would be right. You get a check mark. How about this one? Does this look like it represents one fourth? Well, these four pieces, first of all, they're all kind of different lengths and different sizes. Uh, and this particular piece seems kind of small for something that should represent one fourth of a triangle. Uh, so this particular shape, uh, the shaded part of this shape rather, does not seem to represent one fourth. So if you if you thought that was the right answer, you, you were incorrect. It actually does not represent one fourth. How about this third shape? Here's a rectangle right here. And again, with this rectangle, I've appeared to have to have divided it up into four equal size rectangles by basically drawing a line in half and then dividing the halves again in half. So if you thought this represented one fourth, then you'd be right. Okay, and then finally, here is another rectangle. And again, here I've, I've done something funny where I've divided it in half, but now this other line seems to kind of not be half. So it's kind of a weird line that's drawn in a funny place. And this piece right here, it, it's a bit too big to represent one fourth of the rectangle. So this particular shaded area does not represent one fourth. So hopefully you got that right. And if you did, that means you're understanding what's going on so far. So let me ask you now a more basic question. Suppose I gave you. Um, a pizza pie and I broke it up into two halves and my question for you is how many halves make a whole so how many halves make up a whole In other words, if I started off with the whole pizza pie and then divided it into two halves, how many halves do you need to get a whole? Okay, now the answer to that, if you think about it, is actually two. And here's how it works. Let's say I, I'm going to draw a pizza pie, and, and let me actually uh, here, draw it in this uh, kind of color. Let's say I took this pie, and here's the whole pie. Now if I divided it into half, and get a better looking line for you. Try to divide it up into half. Okay. If I gave you one half, that would only be half the piece. It would only be one out of the two pieces, right? Okay. Now, if I took the other half and gave that to you as well, let's make a color in a different color just to make it a bit more clear. So let me color it in. Uh, it's kind of teal color here. But now if I took these two halves together and gave you everything in those two halves together, then you would end up with the equivalent, the same amount of pizza as a whole pizza. And that's why two halves make up a whole. Okay? Let's try another question. How about the following question. How about the following question? Let me ask you how many how many forts are there in a hole? How many forts are there in a hole? OK, 
Okay, so let's say I, I have a pi and uh, let me draw it in a circle. Okay, and let's say I broke this pi up into fourths. Okay, and you were really hungry. Suppose you wanted to eat the whole pie. How many of these forts would you need to get the whole pie? Well, what you'll notice is that if you have each of these forts, let's say you have this one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. If you had one in each of these slices, all four slices, you would have the equivalent of the entire pie. Okay? So let me color that in so you can it makes it more clear. Let's color it, it in uh, in blue. Okay, I'm going to color this in blue for you so you can you can see it more clearly. Let's see, I'm going to color this part in blue so it's, it's one fourth right here. Okay. Now I'm going to color this one. It's two fourths. Okay. We color this. That gives you three fourths. Okay. And I'll color this last piece, and that'll give me four fourths or one whole. So one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and now I've got four fourths or one whole. Okay? So the answer is that there are four fourths in one whole. Okay? Uh, and one thing maybe you can think about is how many halves um, or how many fourths are there rather in one half? Think about that. That might be an interesting question for you to think about. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll move on. Let me actually move on to another interesting topic related to fractions, and that is how do we write fractions more generally? So let's talk about writing fractions. So writing fractions. Okay. So we write a fraction. So let's say I have. Let me let me do another example here. Let's say I have a. Uh, um, let's let's make it a, a rectangle. So here's a rectangle, and I'll make it a red rectangle. Since red and rectangle both begin with the letter R. Okay. Now, if I take this rectangle and I divide it up into three equal pieces, so I'm going to try to do that visually. It's a bit hard to draw three perfectly equal pieces. These are about equal. Okay. And let me color one of these in. Let me color one of these in green for you. So let's say I color this one here in green. Okay. Let's color one out of the three equal pieces in green. So what do you think this equals? How much, what portion of the rectangle is actually colored? What do you think? If you said one third, you'd be right. So one piece out of three. So one piece. This is the one. This is a single one piece. And a three here comes from the fact that there are one, two, three equal pieces. So I've colored in one out of the three pieces. Okay, and we write that as one third, which is the same as, and that's the same as saying one out of three, one out of three equal parts are colored. So it says one over three or one third. So in this case, one third of this rectangle is actually colored. Okay? Let's try another example. What if I um, let's see, draw another rectangle here. Let me draw another red rectangle. Okay. And just like before, I will I will break this rectangle up into three equal size pieces here. Okay, roughly equal. Um, let me try. Let me try drawing it a bit better. So it's a bit, a bit more, it's a bit more equal. Okay, maybe it's a bit, a bit better than the first one. Now, what if I took this rectangle? Let's say instead of shading in one piece, let me shade in here the middle piece. If 
I shaded the middle piece, then I have shaded in one out of three pieces in this case. And then we know from above that means I've shaded in one third of the rectangle. Suppose in addition to shading in this middle piece, let's say I also shade in this piece on the right. Now how much has been colored? What portion, what percentage, what fraction rather, what fraction of the rectangle has been colored in at this point? What do you think? Okay, well in this case, I've actually colored in two out of the three parts. In other words, here's the, the two comes from the fact that I shaded this in and also shaded this in, okay? So I've shaded in two parts, okay? Out of, there were three equal parts of the rectangle. One, two, three equal parts of the rectangle existed. I've shaded in two of them. And so two out of three or two thirds have been shaded in. And we can write two over three, it's the same as saying two out of three equal parts have been shaded in. Okay, two out of three equal parts. And again, it's gotta be, it's very important to stress that these need to be equal parts uh, if you wanna talk about fractions, because if I had, had made them kind of unequal, then yes, two out of three pieces would be shaded in, but two thirds of the rectangle would not be necessarily shaded in if, if these were not equal, because it would be kind of out of proportion and out of whack. Okay, I will do um, one more example before uh, bringing this video to an end. So let me try one more example and see how you do on this one. Okay, let me draw a, um, a more complex shape. Actually, let, let, let me try drawing a square, maybe a simple shape here. Let's try drawing a square. Okay, so imagine it's a square. And I'm gonna draw lines right here along the diagonal, one line here, and then one line right here. So now I've broken the square up into four triangles, all of equal size or approximately equal size. What if I colored in, um, let me pick, pick a different color, kind of this brownish color here. What if I colored in, what if I colored in three Of these. Now, if I colored in one, I'd be coloring in one fourth. If I color in two pieces, I'm actually coloring in two fourths, which, which you'll notice I've actually covered colored a half of the square. So two fourths and one half are kind of the same thing. And now, what if I colored in three pieces? Well, what have I done here? I've colored in three pieces of equal size. I've colored in this piece. this piece and this last piece I've colored in three pieces three out of how many how many pieces are, are there total how many equal size pieces are there well if you notice that actually there are four equal size pieces so this is one of them the other one is here and one is here and the final one is here. So I colored in three out of four. And so you can think of three over four or three fourths. That's the same as saying three out of four equal, okay, and equal, very critical, equal, three out of four equal parts have been colored in. Okay, three out of four equal parts of the square have been colored in. Okay, I will stop right here. I hope you enjoyed this video.